Hey everyone, Brandon here, and today we are going to do a baby item. This is the Ingenuity Baby Swing, and I'm actually kind of impressed in this baby product. If you're unaware, I just had a newborn, and he is three weeks old now, and this is probably one of his most favorite things, is this uh, nice swing. Um, at first, when I unboxed this swing, I was very unsure on how the quality was going to be, but after actually putting it together and making it uh, secure, it's actually probably one of the most um, ingenious ways of, of making a baby item. And they're using these hollow aluminum tubes that have little snap-on connectors in case you need to take it apart and put it away in storage or something like that and the movability of it from moving it from one place to another place is actually really good and before i get into the features if you want to go ahead and swing over to that uh, subscription button i would really appreciate it but if you want to wait till the end i totally understand so let's go over the swing in general Right now, I do have it off. It, it is not currently on. Um, it does have a quick connect down here. It's a USB type A to a USB type A. So if you're unaware what that is, it's a standard USB uh, cable. And you do not get a brick with the swing. You have to go out and purchase your own brick, just like everything else and at this point i'm running out of bricks for things so you might want to go out and buy a four pack of bricks uh, for your baby items because you're definitely going to need them so anyways uh, some of the features of it has a nice uh, smooth felty soft um, texture on the outer side this little foot rest and then of course the head pillow now this head pillow is actually removable. Don't have to keep it on. If you have a smaller baby, sometimes you might want to take this off. I've been taking the pillow off for now just because when the pillow is on, his head kind of goes in a weird position. And I don't like that, so I take the pillow off and it seems to help a lot more. And that's pretty much just a Velcro strap on the back, which you can take it off and then you're with this nice uh, polyester kind of smooth um, material here and if you want to put it back on you just have to use this little loop snap it on just like that and you're good to go there's the pillow so you also have that uh, felty material I'm not exactly what what to call this I'm just calling it a felty material for the buckle the buckle is a push button sort of like a car seat if you have a car seat like this and pretty much the buckle it in snaps in snaps in to unsnap it you push on each side and sometimes the left comes out sometimes the right comes out but they both won't come out at the same time I'll just warn you right then and there you have a little velcro strap here and once you buckle it in can do that so their hands aren't touching the buckle and trying to unsnap it or do anything like that and you can secure your baby perfectly fine i do wish these shoulder straps were a little bit longer but they work anyways and i kind of understand the purpose maybe they're thinking uh we don't want a suffocation hazard to go on so they're a little smaller but i'm not too worried about it next up is we have the little animals up top we have an owl and what I've been calling a hedgehog, I think it's a hedgehog. Looks like a hedgehog to me, but I'm not entirely sure what type of animal this is. And these are actually sewn into this top bar here, which is great for me. I don't like when things are hanging and they're Velcroed. I have seen it on a few products. I just don't like it. Um, this being sewn in or having hooks would be great. And these are sewn in, so I'm happy about that this crossbar is actually snapped into each side and this actually provides a lot of strength 
to the swing. So this must be attached. You don't take this off. If you don't want the animals, just cut them off and never have them on again. But like I said, they're sewn in, so that's the way it goes. Um, we do have the power button and everything down here, and let's get into that now. Uh, so with the power button and the control center, we have a power button here, swing uh, intensity here, a timer here, volume setting, you got three settings, and then you have a choice of music or nature. Uh, it'll keep rotating through the musics or the sounds, whichever setting you choose. Um, I'm actually gonna go through these, but it's gonna alternate from music to sound, music to sound, but each uh, music song is gonna be a little different. Each nature sound is gonna be a little different. So let's go ahead, turn it on, and you might be wondering how this actually works. And I think this is a magnet here, and there's a magnet down here. So it's a perpetual swing pretty much, and it goes through the magnets. Uh, they're going to push each other away, and depending on what setting you have depends on the power of the magnet here. So that's gonna determine what the swing is gonna be. So we don't need to get into that because most of you probably don't care about it. So let's go ahead, uh, we'll turn it on. We'll start off at one and it'll blink. You'll have a little indicator and it'll blink until it actually gets to that setting. And the first setting is always the hardest. I usually have to push on it a little bit. Yeah. And there we go. We're on setting number one right now. This is going to be your softest, smoothest ride. Um, we got number two. And then once it's already swinging, it usually doesn't take long to get into the next setting. So we're in level two right now. Here's level three. Blink, 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 till it gets to the point. Solid, this is level three. Now, level four. And as you can see, the, the swing is starting to swing a little more. The intensity is a little stronger. And this is how it is. And level five, which is my son's favorite, I call it to the moon mode. And this, <laughs> I mean, the swing is actually swinging pretty good. He loves this. I don't know why. Maybe one day he'll be an astronaut or something. I don't know. But he loves uh, this uh, strongest swing, I guess you can say. The most intensified uh, swing. Now, obviously, it's not, like, going to make him throw up or anything. It's just a really nice, uh, long swing back and forth. Um, so, let's go ahead, and I'll show you the timer. So, you got 30 minutes. You got 45 minutes. You got, uh, I think it's 60 or 80. I'm not exactly sure. I didn't read the instructions, but the 6 kind of looks like an 8, too. I think it's 60 sec I mean, 60 minutes. Um, or you can just have it go on forever until you stop it. So over here, we have the music mode. Now, the music is my least favorite because, well, I think the speaker is kind of cheap, so it's not very good. A lot of baby items really have bad music or bad speakers or both. And usually I just put something on uh, the iPad or whatever um a lot and a lot of there's a lot of music on youtube so uh that's what i use so here's the first song that was the first level this is the second level this is the loudest it gets and then if you want it off you just press it again so level one Level two, and volume number three. Now some of the songs aren't too bad, but a lot of them are terrible. I just absolutely hate them, and the nature sounds is just god awful, so. There's a the nature sound. I think this is supposed to be waves, I'm not exactly sure. Here's another song. 
think this is supposed to be like bubbling water or a river or something. I'm not I'm not exactly sure. This one's not too bad, I guess. Maybe this is supposed to be the creek or the river. I'm I'm not sure. <laughs> so it's and this is this is a pretty good one too. This isn't too bad. This is like if you want your uh, child to go to sleep, maybe that'll work. This one I find kind of weird. I don't really like this one. This sounds like a ringtone to me. That would be better if it just had a better speaker. And that's it for the music. Uh, I usually just have it off. Anyways, um, so let me show you what it's like when we pack it up. Maybe you want to move it around. Uh, maybe you're going to someone's house, maybe the babysitter's house, or maybe your parents' house, or whoever. Uh, you maybe just want to take it to another room. Uh, the way to do that is we're just going to turn it off right now. I'm actually going to stop it because it takes a couple minutes to stop. But we're going to have it like this. To fold it up, it's pretty easy. This back part, just going to lift up, just like that. And then this part right here, you're gonna lift up like that. It's gonna be like that. Uh, do your disconnect here. Like I said, quick disconnect. Pretty easy. Goes off like that. And there's a button back here that you just push in. Lift up. And it's good to go. Now there is no way to, it doesn't lock here. So be careful when taking it around. Um, you could always, I guess, make something to lock it in. But here it is, here's the back side. Uh, this button here is what you push down to unlock it and to put it back. Push down, you're gonna hear that click. Pull back, pull back, make sure it's locked and you're good to go, you're ready, so. Bam, bam, push in, take this forward, lift up, good to go. So anyways guys, if you uh, are thinking about maybe purchasing this, I will have a link in the description below. It was $50 when I purchased it, um, typically it is uh, $99.99, so $100, bucks, but I think it's totally worth it. Um, considering there's a lot of other options that are more expensive and this one seems to be kind of the mid-grade of all of them but I think it actually works well mainly because it's my son's favorite mode and I will actually go and get him put him in and let you see how he likes it for a couple minutes so let me go get him If you like this video, please consider subscribing, liking, and commenting on the video. I will see you next time. Take it easy. Remember, link in the description below, and bye-bye for now.